Welcome back to Fifth Gear, where it's time to hand over to Vicky for the first of this series shootouts, where we take two close rivals and race them against each other to answer the simple question, which is the quickest? And we've got ourselves a rather special new track. The TT Circuit, Assen, is the toughest shootout arena Fifth Gear has ever been to. This legendary Dutch track is a challenging mix of the fast and the technical. Known as the Cathedral, it normally has a congregation of 160,000 cheering fans who flocked from all over the world. Today, though, it's all ours. We're going to be testing a very modern phenomenon, the sporty diesel. BMW's 535D M Sport and Jaguar's XF Diesel S. Both have performance to keep petrol heads happy, but with fuel economy only a diesel can provide. All I want to know is, which is quickest? We'll start with the BMW. Oh, my word. Good grief. This steering wheel is the size of a satellite dish and poorly weighted as well, actually. Oh, dear me. I'd really like a lot more feedback, actually, through the steering. I'm feeling a bit like a chauffeur, really. There's no connection between me and the track. I'm really surprised that this car is a diesel, actually, because it's pulling nicely out of the corners and it's revving up to about 5,500 RPM. Oh, understeer. Ooh. And a bit of body roll. Oh, I think I'm going to feel sick. <laughs> oh, dear. But I'm not interested in sick bags. I'm interested in lap times. Into the first corner, then onto the brakes. Use the paddle shifts to go down the gears. This car is so well insulated that I couldn't even hear that gear change. Even though I am doing speeds over 100 miles an hour, it's pretty undramatic in the cabin. It does feel like I'm just pottering along the M1. Through this chicane here, and then the wonderful grandstand on my left, and the pits and the garages on my right as we go past the start-finish straight. And I potter down the M1 in a time of 2 minutes 14. Now for the Jag. The main differences between this and the BMW are that I can hear the diesel engine. I'm falling sort of out of the seat here. It doesn't give me enough side support. The brakes aren't as powerful and also not quite as much grip as there was in the BMW. Oh, understeer is so tedious. Anyway, time for a quick lap. Oh, run out of room. Really run out of room there. First checkpoint, the Jaguar is four tenths behind. Up to 110 onto the brakes. Down again. Oh, you can almost hear that the brakes launching already, and I've barely done a few laps. By the second checkpoint, the Jaguar has fallen six tenths behind. Through the fast flowing corners, it seems. All is good, up to 110 miles an hour there in fourth gear, but it's breaking down to the slower, tighter corners where the BMW shows its superior sporty class. So coming up to the last complex now here at Assen. Right, then a left, keep the power on, grab more gears, third gear there. And at the finish line, the BMW wins by seven tenths of a second. So not only is it the more economical car, it's also the quickest. And a victory for BMW on the track is the only excuse we need to give away one of our favourite sporting beamers. Here's your chance to win a superb 2002 M3. We hunted high and low to find a stunning example of this 155 mile an hour sports car. And now it could be on your driveway. We'll also throw in £1,000 worth of petrol and up to £1,000 towards your insurance courtesy of elephant.co.uk. For your chance to win this fantastic prize bundle, just answer the following question correctly. 
The Pyrenees Mountains lie between France and what other country? Is it A, Hungary, B, Spain or C, Norway? To enter, text ABLC to 8559 or call 0904 161955. Or you can send your answer on the back of a postcard or sealed envelope to 5th Gear 192 PO Box 46556 London N10 WW. Calls cost £1.53 from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary and from mobiles will cost considerably more. Text costs £1.50 plus one message at standard network rates. For rules, go to channel5.com slash win. Lines close at midday on Friday the 13th of May and three days later for postal entries. Good luck. And now it's over to Jason, who's in Abu Dhabi to race in the fastest form of motorsport in the world.